Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Infinity Wars with me, Rainbow 20, where we last left off. We were doing a little bit of constructed normal play without any form of ranked play because it's apparently now locked into level 10. But I don't think we did enough infinite mode, so I'm going to just do a bit, a tad bit more for this episode. So maybe like three, four games, and this is a tad late at night as well, so... Let's go and see what we can find, and I'll catch you all when we start a game. Hello, we have another sleeper. Alrighty then. Well, there's nothing I can do in the first turn. I don't feel like mulliganing this hand, as I've gotten both of my, well, both, two of the, uh, Risen of Everatch. My worst enemy. <laughs> Uh, and then I realize what deck he's playing. Your image lies. I don't have any location, so I don't have to care about that. I have to kill you and fast. Miss, uh, what was her nickname? Miss Fan Service. Uh. Oh, and if you're wondering, that uh, search took maybe. To so oh dear god, how many cards did he put in his deck? Okay. Mm. Well, I'm gonna need pressure right off the bat if I'm gonna do anything here. I'm gonna need loads of pressure. <laughs> well, things are gonna start going south quickly. Alright. Support drone. It can target itself. Okay, nice to know. None of that's complete horse... Um... No, sorry, I'm used to Hearthstone, where if you play a card like that, it's not capable of targeting itself in any way, shape, or form. And we're gonna play that, because why not? No, sure, I'll, I'll gladly take the hit. Well, that's gonna be annoying. Um, you're flying naturally. Yes. But that'll just give flying back to itself, so I just need to remove it outright. Um, two more of these, and then I'll shove you into the assault zone. You'll do more damage that way. We'll probably shove some defenses out. Oh! No, wait, that's the Risen. That's the Risen. It's not the card I actually would like to put in there, and moves it to the... Exactly where I'd expect. Okay, eaten by zombies. I need to use this on her, no matter what. Oh, that's still alive. Hmm. I'm gonna use my risens as a defense. And I'm gonna start getting my endless deads out here. Um, actually, you have to be in the combat zone. Do they have? No, that's zombie gone bait. You don't have no idea what I'm talking about, I just realized. Banish. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, uh, that's... No, that's just moderately annoying, really. It's nothing special. I shouldn't put every- wait, how are you- how are you healing? It's not bloodthirst, I know that much. Okay. I'm gonna shove some more endless deads in the field, and firestorm, which kills everything. Perfectly- why did you- okay. Genesis Construct, well- First things, I'm going to get rid of you, because you're just going to cause a whole slew of issues that I have no way of dealing with. So then we'll start by shoving you two on the field, shoving another one of you out. And... You can live through most anything that they toss at me. It's 
see, I've got another one. So, activate. I'm doing a very poor job of explaining myself. I'm just hoping that you understand what all these cards do and why I'm placing them the way I'm placing them. Now, my way... Angel seven or more angels. Angel of virtue ascends. So that's what you're doing. Can't say I approve. She is going to get eaten by zombies as soon as she comes onto the field, though. However, he might have lethal. No, he's not going to get lethal anytime soon. 95 health, what are you talking about? Eh. Brain boy these days, he's getting even more and more confused with how he's actually supposed to be doing any of this. Alright, inevitable dead. Alright, some random gibberish that makes no sense normally. So I know exactly what you're... Oh, there's another secluded construct, but I don't have any way of dealing with that. And unfortunately my zombie did not die, and I'm going to leave these two my support zone. I would bring you out, but I know you're going to die as soon as you step out there. I'm leaving these two in the support zone in case he tries to do a board wipe. In which case, I'll have enough defenses to cover most of my flanks. And I've got one drag down. Yep. Yep, here it comes. Um... Yeah, this is what my friends and I would call... No, I'm not using Winds of War. What are you talking about? That's a stupid idea. Are you ascended? You are not ascended. Okay, eaten by zombies. Because we know that's not a horrible idea. And then you've hit the fortress already, so I'm going to drag you down. And then we're going to activate so we can get more zombies out of the field. Eaten by zombies was the traditional way of dealing with flying characters. Unfortunately, I only have one of them, so hopefully they don't have anything else. Now, this would technically qualify as near lethal damage, but... Uh, cancel. Flip-flop. Fixed. I see your grave, Rob, and I still laugh. Well, I see one banish. Secluded Construct dies, and I think he's not watching his morale. And I've got Feast of the Dead, meaning I... Hmm. So do I have anything else? I do not. Cancel targeting. I think it's time to bring out the Infected Pack Leader. I don't remember many cards out there that will cause instantaneous death, destruction, and mayhem to an entire board. And then again, I don't know the Overseers that well, so I guess I could attribute it to that. Now you're going to the trading post, but... Oh, you got rid of all my cards. Great. A kinetically overloaded drone, meaning I have a certain time limit. Wait, are you an artif you're artificial. You're not an artifact. Never mind. And unfortunately, I don't have a way to drag down, so I have to finish this soon. However, this board is lethal. I should play this, draw another card, and then I'm going to have to wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. You're, you remove, soldier. If only I had more angels. I completely forgot that's what Eaten by Dead did. Uh, the card resurrected because if you were killed by Eaten by Dead after eight turn after, uh, sorry, not eight turns, three turns, they resurrect. So unless they stop me, I now have the win. 
However, knowing this, they probably have a means. So I'm just going to toss one more in the defense zone, just in oh wait. I'm going to go all out. Hope that they don't end me. Why am I... Draw a card. Play. Now let's go. Let's not fail 10,000 times. But I have lethal either way, just because Miss Fan Service is flying. So even if they wipe my entire board, unless they get their own flying creature, I still win. What do you bloody do? We are well on our way to level 10. Return to menu. I'm actually going to go check through the achievements, but, um... Hang on, can I go and set this up and do search while I'm looking through my profile? I can. And we've already got another match. Pinkie Pie who nobody likes. <laughs> That's great. And I got... My other unique, Alita. This will allow me to perform some combos that wouldn't be possible with a three purity. And looks like we have a two purity um, Varor, which means I'm gonna have to deal with tons of death. Vasir the Chained Prince. Let's pay five. Great. So basically I'm on a time limit here, and I don't have any means of killing these people. I'm going to have to wait until I get access to... I'm going to have to wait until I get access to Grave Robbery before I can do anything about this. Dealt combat damage with fives. That's morale damage for you. All in all, it's a bold strategy. Lightning Blast. And you're just going to create an entire wave of those. Hmm. While I can do tons of, uh... Tons of minor minions, it's not going to be able to do anything to... Okay. Fireballing this. I'm calling out another inevitable dead. No more that. With this setup. Okay. These cards in this order. And this will allow me to start punching through this, regardless of what kind of defenses she's put up. Desolation, deal five damage to all characters in my support zone. Not a problem. Thankfully, Bloodthirst just allows me to start beating through their lines. So even though she has this entire set of defense set up, it's not going to last for that long. And morale damage that's already been dealt to her makes it even better. Now, I might consider eaten by zombies. Were it not for the fact that there's absolutely no point to it yet. I can't permanently remove and my entire lines are killed. I'm going to activate. Alright, in my response to all of the stuff you've been pulling off, Vroar Death Worshipper, please. This we go into the defenses of zone, and we will start the Resurrection Kanga. With you. Now, of course, there's going to be an assassinate going off, which means I don't use that ability at all. Which means it's wasteful. I really should be poking at her, but that's not going... I really should be poking at my opponent. 
Yes, this is a good idea now. I should be trying to poke and kill my opponent right now, or at least get some pressure on her, because if she lives too long, she'll get to start doing free removal and other stuff. Okay, that just deals six damage. Never mind. I thought that was something much worse than it actually was. And here comes Vishir. Yes. However, I will play my reoccurring nightmare just to get something that might be able to kill Vishir. You see, the one problem with this set. Oh, wait. The zombies can take it. You guys can't. Do I have anything I can res? No, just you. And here comes the Hydra. Yes, I will keep him chained. I will put my reoccurring nightmare out there in, ho in the hopes that he'll kill it without removal. And then I'm just going to try to do as much damage this turn as I can while leaving one behind in order to keep it alive in the event that there is mass death. Desolation, but that only does two damage and it actually helps me. Oh, that's cute. You only happen to do exactly as I wanted. Great, I take some morale damage. Yes, I will keep him from going to be chained. However, I will call you back from the grave. And then I will start the conga line of revives. I see you have a nice card back that you bought. Now, sooner or later, my Aleta will revive from the grave. Death Ray, which kills you off, which is annoying, but demoralize. So you're going to be trying to kill me through a morale damage victory. Well, that's not going to work if I get my card draw out. And yes, I will keep him from unleashing for now. Because I know I'm going to have a card that will eventually deal with him. Whether you like it or not... You already have a card that deals with all of your uh, fancy defenses. Regardless of the morale damage I've taken. Now, if you'd be so kind as to let. Okay. You are getting your resources out, which means you're gonna get a dragon soon. I can almost feel it. There's another demoralize. And you copied my card. That's just peachy. Yes, I will keep you from unleashing. I can't eat by zombies because of that. Wait a minute. Why don't I just eat by zombies, Bashir? Does it have to be in a combat zone? Yes. Wait a minute. Then... What? Didn't I... No, I must be confusing myself. No, no. For some reason I thought I was using this in the command zone, but then I remembered, no, that was just the fireball, you moron. So I, I see everything that you're trying to do. I'm just going to start punching through your lines again, because why not? And then I'm going to... I uh, can't resurrect anything that's actually worth resurrecting. So, another one. This action cannot be undone. No, I'm not going to do that. He is shuffled back into your deck unchained. Hmm. Well, I can at least force him to have to draw into Vashir again. With this setup, what did Devil's Bargain do? Discard your hand, then draw three cards. Okay. I don't know if he's going to go into the combat zone or not. However, I will bring out this. 
one, two, activate, and Varor Death Worshipper. Do I have anything worth reviving? No. Death Ray, Mishir becomes unchained. You have a gold card. Heat Wave, which kills off all those creatures. Recurring Nightmare dies. And then you bring out the misdefen the defenses. So I know you're gonna try to shove him into the field. I know he's not a valid target right now, but I have to risk it. How did my oh yeah. Eaten by zombies. Gee, I wonder. So we're going to resurrect you from the grave again, which is going to give you more damage. And I'm losing morale extremely quickly. And I'm not drawing any of my morale cards. End turn. <laughs> Recurring Nightmare comes out. A few more of you. And I lost my Varor Death Worshipper again. I'll gladly activate and get another Varor Death Worshipper. Only to wait. Hellkeeper. Yeah. Well, at least I made your, made your deck so thick you won't be able to draw anything you want. You've got a ton of removal, sir. I do have to admire it, but I have to also find it incredibly annoying that you keep drawing into it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shove you onto the field, because I know full well they do not, definitely do not have another um, heat wave. There's hopefully no way that you do. Draw another card, and end turn. She's just gonna be a tank to hopefully absorb all the damage. Technically, I'd win this turn, but you probably have a way to stop it. Another Devil's Bargain, meaning you ran out of cards. Now you're trying to get Vashir again. Bastard. <laughs> I would Winds of War, but there's no point. So you'll go out first, you'll go out second. After all this, here comes the Mass Death, mind you. Which I think actually is enough to kill me. Seven... Nine... No, wait, that's to eight, ten, twelve. Let's pull you out. And hopefully, hopefully this is enough. We'll resurrect you as a zombie. Because I'm not getting Feast of the Dead. Undo. Let's take. Yes, I will gladly play that card to prevent a morale death. I, I see your whole morale death shenanigans and I laugh. I see your whole morale death shenanigans and I laugh because of the fact that I've completely forgotten to resurrect more zombies. on the zombie scavenger, that makes sense, and lightning blast to try to kill you off permanently. Now well, you're using a lot of removal, however that doesn't help you in the long run. As you're now as close to suffering a morale death, and I've got my wealthy noble to laugh at you. And, and he's conceded the game! Good game, my friend, good game. time is it? Eh. One more game. Let's see how quick this one goes. 
I love how we both are admiring our nice skulls during that match. Anyway, play normal one more, and then I'll start considering core and other such things. And we have another person with a... The sleeper's artwork is just awesome, I think we can all agree, and I know that card's face, Hecarim the Corrupted. Okay, just cost three or less in the graveyard to put into play. Well... Unexpected. I will gladly let you just punch me in the face just once, just so I can get Agent Coil out, but I don't think that's the most brilliant of ideas right now. In fact, I'm just going to shove the Risen in the defense zone just to prove it. And uh, I should have expected as such. Yet this person knows what they're doing. Curses. You the bane of my existence. I'm just going to keep him on the battlefield, because why not? And with that card I so graciously gave him... He's just going to... Yeah, he's, he's going to kill me quite quickly. Unless I get lucky. And actually draw my... Um, I've already forgotten what it's called. In fact, I've forgotten what it's called for so long. I'm quite disappointed. Um... Unless I get lucky and draw... What is the name of that card that I like so much? Wow, why can't I remember this? Flames of... I, I don't like Flames of War, but I'd love to draw it. Why do I have so many well? Well, this is the first time I've actually drawn all of them. Activate, sack, play those two. What are your abilities? Pay two, deal one damage to all characters on the battlefield. Agent Coil gains flying this turn. Each turn of Agent Coil's onboard is on the battlefield is... Wow. This artwork changes with each time, too. Can't wait to see our Dragonoid Zombie unless he removes him from play, in which case I will be so disappointed. Eaten by zombies. You bastard. Nah, uh, he's not gonna speak to me. Oh well. I know what he's going after now. Thankfully I could pull out my Eaten by Zombies later, but... For now... Wait, what? What did you... What did you eat? Who did you target? Oh, if he's in the combat zone. And I've been smart and kept him out of it. Okay, fine by me. <laughs> Activate, we'll call up another zombie, and I'm gonna keep Agent Coil out of the combat zone again. I have no reason to do so, and I'm gonna shuffle out Vandalized. I don't think I'm actually gonna get any chance to use it effectively. Ooh, Agent Coil Zomborg Evolved. It's destroyed while on the battlefield, removed from game, and spawned six endless hordes in my graveyard. Flying, unstoppable, and infect. Well, I would use this instantly, I mean, who wouldn't use it instantly? Come on. Where, where's the uh, instantaneous removal, my friend, that I guarantee you have? I know how your sick and twisted games work. And I am not gonna fall for that one. Trust me, I've been around too long to be that stupid. Yep, there's another eaten by zombies. I think. No, you're just gonna try to punch me. thinking you had another eaten by zombies. No, no, you, you proved me wrong. Now he pulls out the eaten by zombies and I cry. Um, we play you. I think I'm gonna have to shove you into the field to actively block for these. I mean, you could survive it. 
I think you could survive it. Well, actually, block, block. I'll put you in the middle. And then I will shuffle out, drag down, get fireball. And you pull out a location card. What location? I think everything has infect now. What was this? At the end of each turn, Undisturbed Necropolis creates a 4-4 undead zombie character for each enemy character that dies the previous turn. Draw a card. Okay. Fireball. Fireball. I didn't, I didn't want to select that. That kills off two of you, but that boosts them up by four, which gives them a 17, 17, so 34, just enough to kill me if he pulls out that card in the assault zone. So block, block. Block. Now, if he tries to move, shift everything over here, the unstoppable dragon dies to them, actually. Hmm. Sacrifice I'll have to make. Well, we had the perfect plan with this one. Wait, why did you. Oh, that was the buff. I clearly don't know what I'm playing, and he just flies over them. Wait, why did you get the zombies? Oh, because I got zombies. Yeah. Great. I don't have a location card to save myself. So pay if I have to draw. Draw another one. Put you out into the field, and unless you've got dragged down, I think I'm going to survive this and draw another card to make sure we're not going to die anytime soon. No, because you'll just shove everything here, and... Yeah, we'll, we'll block with the wealthy nobles. Actually, we'll block with the wealthy nobles in front. One in the middle, just in case you uh, manage to put all those other cards... Well, actually, then it won't matter. Where's... Those with an all-out attack. Yep, had a feeling. All those things are going to get massive buffs. When he awakens Hecarim the Corrupted, which comes into play, which gets everything less than three into the field. Yep, I'm dead. Well, just barely not dead. could winds of war. I will winds of war. I'm gonna have to winds of war. Alright, you have characters that start to turn on the battlefield, yada yada yada. I can move you here. I will Yes, I, I will gladly move the person into the line of fire. Feast of the dead, be damned. Now we can only hope. Ah, Hecarim is gonna live. Oh well. It was a good run. <laughs> we both lose simultaneously. And why did you... Okay. Good game, my friend. We both... Holy red screen, Batman. But we both lost. Or at least drew. Ooh, five PvP games. Okay, quest complete. So, yeah, that was our stint with the infinite mode. And we got a daily win, even though I received one earlier. Yay! Okay, and we'll get quest rewards, new cards. Let's claim those rewards. Soldier of Purity. Thank you, I don't need that. Anyway, 
I hope you've all enjoyed watching. This is my stint with Infinity Wars on the infinite mode. Next time, I will figure out... Um, I'll figure out what the core sets mean and construct a deck for the first time on screen with you guys on the core set. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching. This has been Brainboy20, and I am signing off.